thought I would stop here today and do some prospecting. I've already been asked by two cars going by uh, if everything was okay and the second guy asked me if, if this was my property so I'm just gonna look under this bridge into this creek see if I see anything. Okay this looks like really good property but we have a fence there under the creek under the bridge should be public right-of-way if I can get there. I believe I found a really good spot looking at the different kinds of rocks out there. Here we are under the bridge from both sides. You can see fences. Down here you see lots of quartz. And some clear pieces. I see a little mica. Little mica right there. This is black rock. I was thinking maybe it could be tourmaline, <laughs> but no. Some more black rock. So I guess I'll just dig in the creek a little bit to pan out some minerals. Here's what the sediment looks like in the creek. Mostly pieces of quartz. And I see some mica here and there. This piece looks like it has an inclusion of something. Um, eh, probably not too significant. There's this soft material here. I dug out. That is some very thick clay, uh, kaolin clay maybe. I must have dug into the bedrock just about a foot deep into the creek. The rest is just uh, sand, sediment from the top. There's some of my finds. It's actually a quartz crystal. And this is what you would find in a creek, something rounded off because it's been tumbled for a little while. This is the biggest crystal I found on my East Coast trip. And it came out of the creek, so it's all tumbled. I want to believe there's purple in there. Does it matter? Of course it matters. It's really cool, uh, clear, smoky. This quartz has lines in it. That's the end of the first location. I'm glad to see my car is not towed away when I came back. Time to find the GPS coordinates. Now we're at another place on the side of the road. Uh, there's just some dirt on a hill right off the road. And um, let's, see how let's see how this kind of thing looks. All right, 
some quartz and mica This is some hematite on the quartz. Looks like a possible quartz crystal. Here's another chunk of quartz with some hematite on it. Here's a wash on the other side of the fence. You'll see a lot of chunks of quartz. It's kind of a smoky quartz too. Here's a book of mica, or a slice of mica. Okay, there's the slice of mica. So let's see, we have good indicators of finding minerals. The question is, are there crystal points? And if there were, would this guy be plowing his field? Or would he be mining it? I see a big fat mica book sticking out, shining over there. Right there. Here is another wash area. What do we have? Some chunks of Uh, some quartz with a little bit more color. I might have to dig that one up. See if there's any amethyst on it. Another flake of mica. I will give this place a good look. See some quartz with hematite on it again. Same with this piece of quartz, lots of hematite. That's a big chunk. Maybe I should take that one home for the old rock garden. Some mix of quartz and mica. I'm sure people around here are tired of seeing this stuff. And then there's people like me. Just can't get enough of it right now. It's like granite. There's a small outcrop of mica schist. I'm sure someone's going to be watching this and say, hey, check that, check that out a little bit more. There's something you can find in there, but I don't see that right now. And just a little, little over here, maybe a quartz vein right through here. as it weathers out of this, the ground. Question is, are there any quartz crystals in? I haven't seen any um, out of here yet. There's also some mica weathering out of the dirt next to some quartz chunks. Look at that, all that mica, that's really fragile. <clears throat> Still not seeing any quartz points, except for uh, that possible one that I picked up.
there's plenty of chunks of quartz around here. This is not the only land like this. Here's another creek to check out. There are fen there are not fences, but uh, there are property owner signs, no trespassing. So again, have to stay under the bridge area. Again, there's a ton of quartz here, um, mostly gravel size quartz. I may not I may not be here very long. This could be some epidote or tourmaline inside the quartz. This is uh, after I dug about a foot down into the creek just to see if there is consistency from what's on the top and what's on the bottom. So yes, there are a lot of quartz points. I mean, there are a lot of quartz chunks. This looks more like feldspar. And if you want to look for the heavier minerals, uh, you can pan it out, uh, do what they do at the diamond mine, get some uh, Suruka pans and get the heavier minerals centered. I don't immediately see major colors coloring here, um, but if you took several hours and looked through lots of tailings, then you might have a better idea than I will in about 10 minutes. Uh, this this rock, I don't know if it came from this area or used to build a bridge, but it seems like it has a garnet. This piece all ha also has a little red. And this one has a wider but not as red something in there could it be a bigger garnet garnet of lesser quality here's the walkway coming down and these are all those kind of dark rocks Okay, this should be the last stop of the day of the geology field trip. Uh, really a collecting adventure, but unfortunately most of it's on private property. But there are some creeks you can go through. All right, right off you see some nice yellow citrine color that's that's pretty cool i am going to keep that smoky quartz colors some citrine color Definitely seeing some better quality quartz in this spot. This 
some with mica on it. Here's a couple more rocks. This granite, kind of quartz, kind of pegmatite. Here's one of the rocks that came out of the creek and I cleaned it a little bit. That little pocket there, looks like it's fortified by some iron staining maybe hematite some some blocky feldspar on the quartz that concludes today's geological field trip to Iowa South Carolina thank you for watching my video and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this thank you